adventurous. Gather around. Strap yourself in for a tale of soaring skies, near misses and the occasional questionable decision making. We're heading to Gunung Jempol, nestled deep in the heart of South Sumatra, Indonesia. Now, before we get lost in the Emerald Jungle, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the static in your ears. Turns out, Bukit Selero has a knack for messing with electronics. And my trusty microphone decided to take an impromptu nap right when things got interesting. So apologies in advance for the wonky audio. But hey, that's just part of the charm of real exploration, right? Now, about that questionable decision making. Remember that clip you just saw a minute ago? The one where I unbox a mini SE drone with the help of some fancy AI? Yeah, that was just me messing around. Testing the waters of technology. This adventure, my friends, stars the real deal. My trusty DJI Mini SE drone buzzing with excitement just like its pilot. Do watch the video till the end to find out what happened. So welcome to the Rebel Tech channel. I'm at South Sumatra, Indonesia, Lahat. As you can see, behind me is a beautiful hill. I'm not too sure. Here to fly the DJI Mini SE. I've already done the review. You can check my past videos. I'm trying to see how well this DJI Mini SE perform, but I doubt it will fly above the limit because GPS signal is limited. So, yep, okay. Let's try to fly this drone. Alright. Okay, let's hope this drone perform. You can check my other videos. Uh, I'll be flying the drone. So do the Okay, there's no. Okay, not yet. There's no GPS. I think I'll just put it here. Hey guys. Hope you enjoy.
Gunung Jempol. It's beauty, no doubt, but like any mountain worth its salt, it comes with its own set of challenges. One of them, a gurgling river snaking its way through the valley. Now, wise folks had warned me, don't fly over the river, they said. Things get dicey with the signal. Should I have listened? Probably. Did I? Well, let's just say, hindsight is 2020. And my drone got a little too friendly with the H2O. But here's the thing about near misses. They make you appreciate the comeback all the more. Battling wonky signals, dodging invisible currents, I somehow wrestled that little drone back to safety. Heart pounding like a hummingbird on Red Bull, I landed it gently back on solid ground. A silent promise exchange between pilot and machine. We got lucky this time. So folks, here's the takeaway. Gunung Jempol. It is a stunner, but respect the river, respect the signals, and maybe leave the heroics to the professionals, at least until you upgrade your drone, which, trust me, I'm planning to do in 2024. New year, new adventures, right? This might not have been the smoothest flight, but it was a reminder that sometimes the most epic journeys are the ones that leave you a little bit shaken, a lot wiser, and with a story to tell over a crackling campfire. Oh, ah, I almost lost my drone there. And remember, fly responsibly, listen to the locals, and maybe avoid rivers unless you're Captain America with a drone. See you in the next video on Rebel Tech. Don't forget to watch my YouTube shots where I do AI animations or listen to my podcast, The Rebel Rant Series on YouTube Music App. So thank you so much guys. I almost lose my drone. I will hope to see you guys again. Alright, stay tuned to my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.